He said, this is hot, hot. There's your typical ramen noodles. Oh, good, it's breaking down really fast. It is time to pour out or strain our noodles. Slippery noodles. I don't think I'm gonna be eating dinner tonight. Boy, it's a lot of food, man. Wow. Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Domic Monday mukbang just for you. I'm putting this up on Tuesday because I was helping my mom at the cottage yesterday and had no time to, to get this done for you, but better late than never. So one of my amazing subscribers from Japan, uh, his name is Aki Amand, and this is his YouTube handle and his Facebook. All right, so uh, Aki, thank you very much for sending me. He, has, he sent me a whole box of stuff. One of the things being this, he said, this is hot, hot, but too much. So I'm not sure if that, what that means. Is it like crazy hot? It, it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be crazy hot. And it's 2,142 calories. Uh, I wasn't gonna do the whole hot plate thing and boiling water and all that. So I grabbed the, uh, the kettle and that just finished boiling. So uh, what I'm gonna do is get this ready to go so we can start eating it. So he sent me, again, a whole box of stuff. And this is the number one, well, the number two thing I wanted to try. Cause I think on my Facebook, he said he was eating this. And I'll get into that in just a second. And as soon as I saw the packaging, I said, oh my gosh, that is definitely gonna be one of my mukbangs. So I said, dude, if you could send me some, send me just one of those, that's all I wanted. Send me one of those, and I'd like to give you a huge shout out. And he sent me a whole box of stuff. Once again, I don't know how to read Japanese, but luckily, they've got some very cool illustrations on there. Uh, it's too bright, so I apologize. There's a better close up of the instructions. Peel up one side, pour in the water, and I guess there's a package of stuff in there and then close it again and then you can strain it. Just ran into the kitchen to grab something to pour it into. That's the only thing I didn't have in my setup here. So it looks like there's a pull tab. So if I pull it back, grab your stuff out of there. Just seasonings. And then once again, I have no idea what this stuff is. It'd help if I, this is obviously some type of sauce. How about I spoke Japanese maybe? Or if I had a Japanese person on my show. Yeah, you don't want to peel it back too far. I just want to make sure I'm not leaving anything in there. There's your typical ramen noodles. This looks like it needs to be hydrated again. So let's pull that tab. Oh, ah! This looks like vegetables, dried vegetables. <laughs> Trying to make it focus. So pour the dried vegetables in there and the rest of the stuff is probably what you put on afterwards. So let's pour the water in. This was boiling earlier. And then you cover it again. So like I said, he sent me this. I guess I saw a picture of this on his Facebook or whatever. And I said, if you send that to me, I'd be eternally grateful. And he said, this is bloody hot. Please enjoy. So he sent me three of these. I only wanted one. They sent three of these and recommended me eating that with Paul. And on my latest hiking trip with Paul, he said uh, he would like to do a, um, a video talking, like fully talking about his motorcycle accident and why we haven't been doing cooking reviews. So I figured we could do a mukbang of that. We'll do all three of these. We'll make a big, or we'll make two big bowls and then we'll eat it and we'll talk about the motorcycle accident. Let me know if you think that's a great idea. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, chances are I might even put a poll right up here. Check the poll and we'll check to see if you guys really want to see that or not. And uh, I'm gonna just grab a glass of water quick. Okay, so let's get out our chopsticks. Try to break it down a bit. Yeah, it's still super hard. This side's doing really well. The other side is not. It's a lot of food, people. So, on our latest hiking trip, <laughs> of course it's using up all the water and it's getting less and less water. 
on our latest hiking trip, we went to um, Lake Placid area and climbed Phelps Mountain. We were supposed to do um, Mount Marcy, but there was three feet of snow on the top and it was like a 12 hour hike and the guy at the mountaineering shop said we should have started at five o'clock in the morning. And we had just finished breakfast at a restaurant at around nine to 10. We, I think we were in, no, yeah, it was around nine because we actually got to the bottom uh, or the, um, I guess the trail head at around 10 o'clock. That's when we first started hiking. So prior to that, uh, the guy said, yeah, you don't do Mount Mars, you won't make it. Plus we had a 13 year old with us, that was Jim's kid. And uh, yeah, chances are something bad would have happened. I fell many times because I had uh, I had approach shoes, which are great for, for rock climbing and stuff. And then there's shoes you wear from the trailhead to where you go mountain climbing or rock climbing. And uh, unfortunately they were not very effective in the cold weather. All right, so we're gonna peel this back. Do a quick taste. It is time to pour out or strain our noodles. I also brought a spoon just in case I wanted to eat it like a soup, but I think we'll just eat it as noodles. All right, put that aside, put that there. Rip the rest of the top off. Let me know if you've had this before. Okay, I'm gonna put this powder in. I don't know what the powder is. Kinda of looks like pepper, maybe salt and pepper. And then we've got some other sesame seeds and things. Maybe parsley. And this is gonna be the hot sauce, I'd imagine. Mm. There's got to be a tear strip somewhere. Let's try this part. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, but this is crazy hot. Hmm. <sighs> It smells like um, Worcestershire sauce, if I said that right, probably not. Worcestershire sauce, is that right? Worcestershire, Worcestershire, sir? Come on, all right. So, all the vegetables on this one end, we'll get to them eventually. All right, so that's probably good enough. Let's grab our chopsticks. Whoa! Never put your stop chopsticks in your food. It represents death. Check that out. Steaming hot noodles all the way from Japan. Once again, thank you very much, Aki. Here we go. Going in for the big bite. Slippery noodles. Very, very tasty. Wow. It almost has um, like barbecue flavored chips flavor to it. Yeah, from uh, Pringles. It cooled down just enough. But it's not that hot. And like you said, it's not too hot. bit off a bit more than I can chew on that one. There is a lot of sodium in this, people. I don't know the instructions or the ingredients, <coughs> but you can taste it. <coughs> Crazy amount. Okay, let's try not to put that much in my mouth. Nice. 
Mmm. These are so good. If you're in Japan, you can get these online. I was looking up, trying to translate um, the the Japanese into English. I was having a very difficult time. I was using uh, Google Translate camera or whatever in Japanese to English, but it didn't like the packaging. So, but when I went to their QR code, it took me to like, I guess a website and they sell tons of these things. That's the QR code guys. You might be able to scan your screen. It might take you straight to the website, but uh, this is really, really, really good. It's not too hot. Yeah, my only, my only issues with some of the ones I've had that it's, they're too hot to enjoy. Let's see if I can pick up one noodle off the desk, yes. Almost, yes. Not bad. I think I'm going to be eating dinner tonight. Wow, that's a lot of food. Mm. So, this weekend we went to the Adirondacks, climbed Phelps Mountain, had a good time. My calves are still very sore. Um, my quads are very sore from stepping up. I used walking sticks this time. First time I've ever used walking sticks. You can check that video out on my on my vlog channel if you want to see the the actual climb. It wasn't too uh, treacherous. Sorry, it was treacherous, but it wasn't too hard. And again, it was treacherous for me, not having the right footwear. Live and learn, I guess. Boy, it's a lot of food, man. Wow. No, you can't come up. My cat wants to come up. The wine are 2,100 calories. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like I, I waited just the right amount of time. Because the noodles are perfect. Holy cow. It doesn't really look like I put a, too much of a dent in that. I've been picking up huge chunks. One of my favorite things about this weekend was that I went and picked up my son from from university in Brantford and uh, picked him up on Friday night. And then we uh, drove across the north end of Toronto out towards uh, like Ottawa area. Well, not Ottawa, I guess uh, uh, Belleville. And we, we figured out through texting that Ben and I were only about 20 minutes behind Paul, Marc-Andre, Jim, and James. And so they stopped in Belleville and then we all jumped into Paul's uh, SUV because he had a bigger vehicle than I did. So... Uh, we all jumped in there and we had a, an amazing time. Just the last three and a half hours, four hours from Belleville to Lake uh, Placid. Oh, and then we, when we got there, we played some cards, drank some beers. Mm -hmm. I'm so full. Next day, woke up. Went to downtown diner in Lake Placid, ate breakfast, then went over to a mountaineering shop where he proceeded to tell us we shouldn't 
try to climb Mount Marcy because it was too big, too much, and we didn't have enough time. It's like a 12 hour day. We did Phelps in, I think four, four to five hours around that. I think we left at 10, got back at three, approximately. So yeah, four to five hours, somewhere around there. Um, yeah, when we got there, the guy said, uh, make sure you have spikes. And uh, we, that's when we decided we weren't gonna climb Phelps and we we're just gonna hike to a lake called Avalanche Lake. And the halfway to Avalanche Lake, we changed our minds again and decided to climb Phelps and that's why we didn't have spikes on our shoes. Because, uh, yeah, I totally recommend spikes at this time of the year. They're like slippers that you put over your footwear. And they have little metal spikes on it just to stop you from slipping. But they're definitely going to be in my backpack from now on when I go on hikes this time of year. Mm. We've gone there, that area, this late in the season. And we had mild weather. It was great. Wearing t-shirts. Shorts. Not this year. Big snowstorm came in, almost blew us off the mountain. Hmm. I'm so full. The reason I think there's a lot of sodium in this thing because my lips are starting to get as if I was like swimming in the ocean for a uh, long time. They're getting, uh, I don't know, shriveled or whatever. I don't know what the word is called when your lips go all funny from the salt. Same thing. Mm. So the green stuff tastes like cabbage. I forgot to say Kampai at the beginning, I apologize. No. Oh. Kampai is cheers. Itidakimas. Is what you say before you eat. I apologize. Forgive me. Please. Looks like I'm gonna do it. This is definitely something you gotta share with somebody. Oh. It's starting to taste like um um like vegetable fried rice that you get at a Chinese food place. That's what it tastes like. Found some really crunchy vegetables. You might be able to hear it with that microphone. Oh, done. Thank you very much, Aki Amand. Please check him out on YouTube. Tell him I said hi. Remember to participate in the, the poll. That thing is really, really good. Check it out on the internet. F try to find it. If, the, if you can order it, order it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for stopping by my Monday mukbang on Tuesday. Sorry it's a day late. I apologize. I tried. But uh, I look forward to seeing, doing this max end. And once again, thank you very much. Uh, hopefully, uh, Aki Amand leaves a comment in the comment section below. 
uh, I will pin him to the top and uh, you guys can give him a thumbs up. Say thanks for Ken sending Ken this stuff because it costs a lot of money for him to send this huge box of noodles and things. Oh my gosh, it was that good, people. All right. Thanks very much for watching my Monday Mukbang. If you love these videos and you don't want to miss the next one, please hit the subscribe button. It is somewhere on this page. And don't forget to click the notification bell. But if you want to show your support for me doing Monday Mukbangs just for you, hit it with a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. And we'll see you next time on another Kendomic Monday Mukbang. Kendomic out. Cheers. Come pie.